Where are you, listener zombie? I have reach attacks. <laughs> uh, get halberd in the brain. Actually, you are brainless, so get halberd in the the body. I don't know. <laughs> Bentornati. Welcome back to the Cataclysm. We are here with him in our mechanized infantry carrier, this new fantastic vehicle that we started overhauling to fit all our loot and fantastic equipment. But there is still a lot to do to make this thing uh, fully like the dream vehicle that we would all want to have in the ap apocalypse. There's still two pieces missing. One is a vehicle um, forge rig. Another one is the Foodco uh, crafting system. Let me show you the, um, the recipes for that. So um, um, unfortunately we cannot yet see the vehicle forge rig, but I can show you uh, the electric forge, which is needed for that. So this would be the electric forge. We could make an electric forge right now. We're not gonna do that though, because we still need fabri fabrication six to convert the electric forge into, well, the vehicle mounted. Um, variant of this but in addition to that I also want a food co kitchen buddy <laughs> I'll read this to you food co kitchen buddy assembled from a set of instructions you found in an old book of DIY projects the food go kitchen buddy claims to be the perfect solution to all your home cooking needs while it is su surprisingly handy for vacuum sealing as well as dehydrating food the cheery sales pitch neglected to mention a how awkward the damn thing is b that you still need a normal kitchen and c how it doesn't take batteries you're going to have to wield it to a vehicle or something else with a supply of, el of electricity uh, so it has the food preservation features of course so dehydrating and vacuum sealing but also includes, it says here, for some insane reason, a press and die set for hand loading ammunition, <laughs> which is great. In my opinion, this is one of the items that better re represent a Cataclysm as a game, as a sort of wacky but extremely in-depth simulation of the zombie apocalypse and, and everything else on, on the side. Um, however, to do this, we need a hand press. To make a hand press, hand press, we need the forge and the swage and die set. So, first we need fabrication six, then the forge. With the forge, we can make these other things, and then we can make the hand press so that we can make the food co kitchen body. Um, a thing that I am not talking about but still could be pretty useful is also a vehicle mounted welding rig. It will help us a lot with uh, with crafting recipes that involve well welding, but it is not the be all and all of welding because many times you will need a welding tool outside of your vehicle. So either you add it to your vehicle like outside and then you constantly move the vehicle so that you can use your vehicle mounted welding rig when you want to work on other stuff uh, or you still need your portable one so for now i'm just gonna stick with my portable one however what is something that we can do right away we are still in the outskirts of south thomaston a place that you will remember because of the hospital um i want to take a look at this electric car I don't know why there's two nodes in here. It's even better if there's two electric cars. But basically, um, I think what we want to do at this point is go there and grab the uh, storage batteries from from these two. Um, install those storage batteries because storage batteries are larger compared to normal car batteries. So I think a couple of storage batteries will cover all our needs in the future and the other batteries I'm thinking maybe we can disassemble and convert into maybe high capacity portable batteries or stuff like that to use in the welding rig or even better in our jackhammer because 
as you might remember, every time we use our jackhammer, we get two uses out of it, and then we have to wait a lot for the batteries to recharge, but if we have two batteries handy, uh, well, we can do four, so double the amount of uh, drilling actions. So let's move the vehicle up to the northern part of South Thomaston and let's take a look at that. Alright, let's stop in here. Turn off the camera system. And we also want to drop something, I think, because we have a couple of dudes coming for us. Okay, I dropped a bunch of stuff. This lowered our torso encumbrance to 37, which is much, much better. And now we can take care of this feral runner. Where are you? Up there. Okay. Let's meet you near these bushes. Come on. Ouch! As always, feral runners go right through armor. We have a second client. Right. Let's do this orderly. Let's move in here the two corpses, but also let's pick up this ammunition. Why not? And then we can butcher all the corpses dismembering in 31 seconds flat. Go! Nice. Nothing else I'm interested in. Oh, wait a second. There's still a corpse. Didn't I say this, 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 this member everything? Anyway, okay. No more intact corpses. I'm going to quickly wield my rifle instead of the mace because there was a dissoluted devourer not far from here. So th those electric cars are supposed to be close to here. Oh, look. Yes, this is an electric car. Ah, uh, this is not. This is a cube van. And this is an electric car. Nice, we also want to take... Oh, see, these are swappable storage batteries. Okay, we can have that. Squirrels! <laughs> nice. Okay, the feral... Not feral, the devourer is nowhere to be seen at the moment, so... I'm gonna wear the rifle again and wield the mace. Wait for these guys. And give them a good dose of steel right in the face. There's a zombie technician, I think it's very far away. Also, they never seem to have too much of a good uh, vision range. Yes. We must remember, zombie technicians are a little bit um, dangerous for the fact that they can magnetically steal your weapon. Oh, this one's had some meat jerky. Butcher everything. Dismember corpse. One minute. Right.
climb the fence. Oh, what's that? This looks fancy, but it's just a coffee maker. <laughs> I, d I don't know why it looks so fancy to be a coffee maker, but... Ooh, let's get some energy drinks and stuff. Chewy candy, potato chips, fried seed, energy drink, herbal tea. Jumper cable. Do we need jumper cables for anything at all? I already have some anyway. Alright, so nothing super interesting in here. Security system, this is a hatchback. There's a simple 17 inch wheel in there. This is an electric scooter. It has a medium storage battery. And a small electric motor. Anyway, we came here from this guy here. So let's take a look at this. Uh, swappable storage batteries. One is very beaten. The other one though is good. There it is. How much to remove? Of course I will need my movable cantilever though. Oh, I called it foldable crane. I don't know why. Activate the foldable crane. Are we close enough to remove this? Yes, that was pretty quick. I'm curious though, what if I wanted to remove the swappable storage battery case? It takes 20 minutes. A battery case for storage batteries allows quick removal or addition of a storage battery. You can lift if you can lift the battery. Now what I'm guessing is that this will only give us like a frame or something like that. So let's see. Um, I guess we can verify that if I try for example to install one. Can I install one? A case. A swappable storage battery case. No, actually, it requires a component called storage battery case. I see. So, it makes sense for us to remove this. Remove the storage battery case. Zombie spotted. I think it's far away. Ignore it. Right. Yeah, there, there are some zombies, but are very far away. So let's take a look at additional solar panels. These are very beaten. Okay, if we remove the the ones that are more or less destroyed, I, I think there's a chance that we get um, the single solar cells. Oh, this, this, this is good. Solar panel. Yeah, remove this. Ignore. Yeah, I mean, let's take a look at getting to the other vehicle first. So fold the crane again. I'm overburdened and this one I can't even get. So let me take a look at maybe, I can use the bolt cutters to open as a path in this fence. Yes. So now I can pick this up, dispose of the maze. We are super... Oh, no, no, we, we, we can't do this. <laughs> we are basically on the floor <laughs> with a huge battery on our chest. 
<laughs> more or less like Thor's hammer. So yeah, drop drop the storage battery for now. <laughs> that was hilarious. So let's move it like this. And then we can simply haul. Yes. Stop hauling. Um, I need to activate the foldable thingamajig. Now, I'm on this side. Our other storage battery is on this side. So I could install the new one in here. Okay, install. I mean, we could install it like as a normal storage battery. And I mean, I don't really intend on swapping these things. There's really no point. And installing the battery case re would require 41 minutes. So unless you have like a, a stable uh, base of operations, and in there you have a vehicle that you use as a static rig, to charge all your swappable batteries, uh, then maybe it makes sense. When you go back there, you park, remove the used batteries, but then again, why wouldn't you put solar panels on top of your vehicles uh, and render all of that superfluous? Uh, I don't know. So I, th I think for now I'm just gonna install the storage battery as it is. It only takes seven minutes, so let's do it there. So we have two storage batteries, they are in good-ish condition, and all the others, I mean, I, I will keep in for now, but we could very well remove. Uh, can I repair some of this? I cannot repair the storage battery, I probably have to take it off in order to repair it. So let's me, let me uh, take this out just for a second, because I want to see what's involved into repairing this. Can I do it? Okay, maybe I can do it with the arc welder, but I'm thinking probably the soldering iron will be enough. It's a little bit short on charges, but... Activate... Soldering iron. Repair. Storage battery. You cannot repair this type of item. Maybe I need solder? Let me try this again. Soldering iron. Can't repair this type of item. What if I repair with the arc welder? Hmm, so maybe it can't be repaired. It says in here, this item is not repairable. So the only thing to have a, a, a good one would be to break one or more up and then make a new one from scratch. This one breaks into 79 small storage batteries and electronic scraps and stuff like that. And maybe we can even craft one if we wanted. Storage battery. 80 small storage batteries, 16 electronic scraps of two, etc. etc. So I'm guessing the way you do this is you start disassembling a car batteries and other stuff like that until until you get all the pieces that you need. But for now, let's let's replace this where it was. Because really it, it doesn't need to be perfect. As long as it's not leaking. So storage battery install and we have all the power we need for now let me drop a couple of things the welding goggles I will take care of this later why am I still over encumbered because I have a ton of food again because I just can't help myself Oh, the solar panel, of course.
Do I want to keep the swappables battery case? Maybe not. Maybe I'll leave it in here. And I leave the solar panel in here for now. I'll wield the mace and take a look at uh, clearing the area around this other. This other electric car. So what do we have? Zombie, listener zombie, fat zombie. A boomer. Chipmunks and squirrels. What am I attracting? Well, these seem to be just... Animals, right? <laughs> Chicks and chipmunks and stuff. They are fleeing, though. From what? I couldn't say exactly at the moment but they are fleeing okay let's take care of these guys for now and the one and the two what's this building here an antique store Ooh, did, did we did we get into that an antique store could be interesting to visit. Okay, the boomer I want to... I want to get farther from the rest. I want to go up here. With my rifle instead. Because the boomer explodes... in a shower of nasty stuff. attracted quite the crowd okay I think we need to use the maze for a second again one down and we got the hazmat Break the grab. Break the grab. Hazmat down. Stop. Could you stop that? Oh, it is spitting. It's spitting bile on me. Will the rifle again. Right. That's better. I, I think the sound indicator is broken in this game. Because that's an explosion, right? There's no way that didn't create any sound and also I just I just fired with my rifle anyway where the rifle again uh, of course this guy exploded and just had a spray can on him is the zombie technician getting closer he is see that's an indication that he heard the sound um, how do I do this I need to go to the vehicle. And I need to get myself a fully um, wooden weapon. Do I have one of those? I hope so. Um, guns, magazines, weapons. I don't. I, I, I don't have a normal... Hmm. 
I could try sniping him or I could just get a branch <laughs> from the ground or something like that. I thought I had at least something like a baseball bat, but I don't. Okay, the zombie technician has lost interest for the moment, so sound works like this. Um, the number you are supposed to see in here is the number of tiles that sound will travel. So if you make a noise that is like sound a hundred, it means that a zombie that is a hundred space away will hear it and gain interest. However, the zombie will only travel towards the origin of that of that uh, sound uh, for as many tiles as the difference between his actual distance from the sound and the amount of sound that was made. So, um, if the zombie is at distance 80, so it's 80 tiles away, and you make a sound of uh, intensity 100, 100 minus 80 is 20, the zombie will only travel for 20 tiles. If the zombie is at distance 50, though, and you make a sound of 100, 100 minus 50, he will travel the entire distance of 50. And from the distance that he traveled, I can't see that on the map, but he's now here. He was more or less here. I, th I think that sound was more or less 100. I mean, I'm, I'm just ballparking it. But I mean, from here to here, maybe it's not 50, but it's, I don't know, within 30 and 40, maybe. Actually, what if I do wield rifle? Where do I see the distance? Oh, range? This is 33. He was more or less like this. This is 36. Okay, so maybe he traveled for 40 tiles. So the, the, the sound might have been like 80. Anyway, where THK again? Because that's, that could be taken from us. He could, he could snatch that with his magnetic hands. Uh, do I see a sturdy branch anywhere? What is this? A heavy stick. Wield heavy stick. Heavy stick bash fourteen to hit bo bonus minus two. So it's not it's not super great. It's minus two to hit, but it's still better than nothing. What is that instead? Is that a long stick? I think a long stick. Would a long stick be better than a heavy stick? Let's compare. A heavy stick and a long stick. Yeah, it's better actually. It's better. So, drop heavy stick. And wield the long stick. Okay, technician. I have a wooden weapon. You cannot snatch this from me. I'm loving the sound this makes. Okay, that works. We can drop the long stick now. With our mace again. Wait for a second while this guy stays there confused. He's not even bashing. Oh yeah, he, he, he is. Maybe we were too far, too far to, to be able to hear that. All right, now. Let's butcher these guys. Uh, I mean, I, I will loot later. Actually, I will cut all, all of this up. Let me just go around and, and, uh, and cut all the zombies real quick. All right. The area should be clear now. So how many solar panels can we get from this? One is destroyed. 
This is... Pusable, probably. This is good. And this is almost dead. But we also have a pristine storage battery. I'm thinking maybe I can remove that to dismantle to take the, the, the smaller pieces. Hmm. It's a thought. It's a thought. Let me go get the foldable lifting thing. Alright, so I got both the storage battery and just one solar panel. So of the solar panels that we have mounted on the vehicle at the moment, three are n very much not in a good shape. So I guess what I want to do is I want to swap the ones that don't look so good with the pristine ones with the idea that those are going to produce much more energy. So let's remove this one. Heard footstep, stop interacting, yes. What is that? Oh, you found me. Did you follow the scent, probably? Right. So... Oh, unfortunately, that... Ah, that, that stopped us. Um... This is even worse, actually. Let's start from this one. Okay, one removed. So let's move the ones that are not good away from here. And maybe we can even uh, disassemble them. Oh, it takes 15 minutes. Okay, just do this. Examine the vehicle and let's install solar panels in here oh boy heard footsteps stop interacting yes we're gonna get interrupted constantly at this point I I think it actually picked up from where it left which is nice if it's if that is the case stole the second one okay we were not interrupted this time and we have two extra uh, solar panels in very good condition oh that is the the case now let's bring this stuff in the vehicle Do I have space in here? Yes, looks like. Solar panel, solar panel, storage battery, storage battery. Ooh! <laughs> Hide, zombie child. Um, I think I want to... take you out of your misery for a second. Because I still want to go take a look at the antique store. There's a chance I was already in here. Okay, this is close though. We automatically used our lockpicks to do this. It's very well lit inside, so we will attract some zombies but look there's already already I can see very interesting items and also very useless items uh, I'm in a shadowy area at the moment so I'm not seen oh there's a zapper fortunately enough it is not so close
Okay, that was something. Um, I, I thought that was a normal zombie. Um, this, this is bound to get us a little bit of attention. So what do we have? Fat zombie in here. The zapper and maybe all those kids are gonna get towards here. Let's stay here and listen for a second. Or actually, not listen, but just take a look at what comes closer. No, just a normal zombie seemed, seems to have been alerted of our presence. Uh, let's retreat inside. Is the zapper coming? Yes, the zapper is coming, so... Rifle? Um... Actually, let's take this fight. Ooh! Ooh, that's not nice. That's not nice at all. Um, that's a grabber. A grappler, actually. He grabbed us and brought us closer. We want to dispatch it as uh, quickly as possible. Okay, that's done. That was probably a bunch of noise. I want to maybe run for a couple of spaces. Can start walking normally again. get a little bit more distance. Walk again. Quickly get rid of these guys. Um, actually get back to the vehicle for a second, just, just to be safe. Wait until you catch your breath. Okay, now I want to go take a look at where the zapper is. That is not a shocker, it's a zapper, so it's not as bad as the shocker. The zapper should not have... Uh, that's a lot of noise. The shocker shouldn't have a uh, ranged attack. As far as I remember. I'm not seeing it. But that doesn't mean it's not close. Okay, they went inside there, probably following my scent. So will the... No, not that. Will the rifle. I'm not interested in you. I want to kill the zapper first. Maybe run a couple of steps and walk again. Okay, that's better. I can wield the mace again. Hey, don't destroy all of those bushes, come on. Oh boy, what is that? 
That's a lot of zombie kids. Uh, let's not go anywhere near that. Let's keep a very uh, healthy distance. Uh, the, the rifle shot is getting a lot of interest. Still, we should be able to manage this. The runner will probably get a couple of hits, as it usually happens. Could you stop doing that? Good job! Alright, let me dispose of the corpses. We have more clients. Alright, in here now. What can I see? A halberd. Now, these items here could be... Okay, first of all, um, wait for a while, catch your breath, okay. So, the items found in here, like the these this, uh, weapons, they could be legit sto uh, historical weapons, which would be really, go really good, or they could be cheap replicas. So, we just need to smash the glass and take a look. This is a versatile pole arm with an axe blade, a spike, and other fun things attached to a long stick. I think this is the legit thing. It says material, steel, and wood. To hit bonus plus 2, bash 16, cut 36. Um, it's got a lot of weight, and it's really cumbersome, but it's got a sweep attack. Down for two turns, medium blocking ability, a wide strike, attack in a wide arc, crit only, minimum melee level 3. But I mean, even just the cut 36, um, and reach attacks, oh yes. Give me that thing. This is a golf club. Bash 14. It's very light, so it's kind of nice, but... Um, no, I need to... Okay, do this. A hollow cane. A cane designed to conceal blade, or a blade. This was a popular fashion accessory for the wealthy during the 18th and 19th centuries. The problem is... Yeah, this is just Bash. It, it doesn't have the the cane sword in it, but it's got precise strike and rapid strike. The, the problem is it's just three bash, so it makes absolutely no damage at all, because it's a hollow cane. Oh, and a baseball bat. Okay, take that. Absolutely. And a sickle. Made of steel and wood. This is an old-fashioned farming tool used to cut tall grass. While it may be a massive curved blade on a handle, it is incredibly awkward to use for anything but its intended purpose. So, yeah, cut 16, but 2 hit, bonus minus 6. So, no, we don't want a sickle. Um, what is this? There's a flintlock rifle, an acetylene lamp, an antique brass lamp designed to run from a pressurized cylinder of acetylene. It is an efficient if not somewhat dangerous, light source. I'll take it as a collectible. Oh, there's another baseball bat, but we don't need that. Oh no, this is a baseball. <laughs> Sorry, just the baseball, without the bat. Yeah, cool, nothing else of importance in here. Small cemeteries, small cemeteries, a cathedral, military surplus, 
fast food restaurant. Okay, there is there is nothing else I really want to uh, hit in the immediate vicinity. So I think we're gonna retreat at the moment. And by the way, Halberd. Oh, wait a second. I I need to do this. Um, Halberd, wield, store the mace in the inven inventory. Um, where are you, listener zombie? I have reach attacks. <laughs> uh, get Halberd in the brain. Actually, you are brainless, so get Halberd in the... The body, I don't know. <laughs> it says, you maim the brainless zombie for 76 damage. I mean... It's just fitting, right? You find a legit halberd, and the first thing you do is a 76 damage critical. <laughs> you gotta love it. Yeah, like, monster spotted. No shit, Sherlock. <laughs> there's a... There's, there's an entire classroom of zombie children in, in here led by their uh, gym teacher, I guess, <laughs> the, the swimmer zombie. Um, yeah. Tim Knudsen, the... How, how, how do you call the guy with the, with the halberd? I want I want to say hal, halberd deer? Or something like that? I, I guess it's... Uh, it's a variant of the pikeman. All right, let's see if we can store all this stuff in here. The baseball bat, of course. Oh, I need to do drop like this. Halberd. It goes in the cargo space. Wield. Wield the maze for now again. And this is it. And I think this is also like enough excitement. Also, halberd. <laughs> I mean, storage batteries, yes. Um, solar panels, cool, of course. I think in the next one, we will maybe retreat in a less crowded area, because every time we tried do, doing something um, useful in here, uh, we were stopped over and over again. But it might, might be just, you know, as much as going... Is this a, a cabin? Yeah, we could, like, take the vehicle, to this cabin, where it's, you know, it's very open and very calm, probably. What is this? Police station. Um, and I think what we want to do is study until we get Fabrication 6, and then we can hopefully craft the uh, vehicle forge rig, and then the food co kitchen body with the integrated dehydrator, vacuum sealer, and the hand press set. And that will also mark that will also mark the start of our metalworking endeavors. Okay, that sounds like a good plan, so thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you again for the next episode. Alla prossima!